Throughout the world, in almost every category you can think of, there are basically two versions of every product that is produced. There is one that is mass produced, and then those that are custom designed. It holds true in everything from cars to furniture, from suits to shirts. And those in the know will tell you there definitely is a difference. And that may well be the best way to explain the amazing success story of this company, the Hudson Bread Company, headquartered here in North Bergen, New Jersey. This is what is known as an artisan bakery, which means virtually all of its products are custom designed and many created by hand. The result is that this relatively small company is a key supplier to many of the most famous restaurants and hotels in New York, such as the legendary 21 Club, the Tavern on the Green, the Peninsula, Ritz Carlton, Four Seasons, and Pierre Hotels, just to name a few. Obviously, this company produces a product that is beyond the ordinary. It is indeed superior. The success of this company is not too surprising since it is owned by the son of a Polish baker who grew up in Poland watching and learning from his father in his bakeries. Now he is turning his own company, this bakery, into one of the premier artisan bakeries in all of America. His name is Mariusz Kowarze. Well, this bakery is different. It's a mixture of a lot of different talents. People who work here, they came from around the world. We have a lot of people from Europe, we have the uh, people from South America, we have the people from South Africa, we have the people from Asia. Everybody who ever works here, they bring something from their own country. It's totally unique than simple paid operation bakery which was established here. And everything, whatever we have as of menu in this bakery is a recommendation of a lot of different countries. That's why when we're going to do the presentation for specific clients, they can choose and they can find anything, whatever they're looking for. All of our doughs are calculated on a time mixing. So the dough is then mixed. And all the ingredients within all of our recipes, flour, water, salt, sugar, eggs, yeast, and minor ingredients as seeds, are all computerized and then going down through the discharge shaft into a mixing bowl. It moves over into a fermentation row. So at this point, we're mixing a rosemary focaccia, this will mix for approximately five minutes. At that point, it'll move out. It'll sit into a resting area. Then the dough will be pushed on to processing. They are producing all kinds of bread machines, starting from mixers, bun lines, bread lines, ovens. This equipment, what is the Artisan SFI, specially designed to divide highly fermented, high-quality dough, chia butters, French, Italians, in all kinds of varieties. The softer the dough, the harder it is to divide and to treat it, to, to work it on a machine. We basically try to simulate the work with the hands. At this time, we make heroes, semolina heroes. We sheet it out to a certain width and height, and we're gonna cut it in, in different lines and cut out the heroes. One of the first changes I made as chef was to use Hudson Bread. The reason I chose Hudson Bread was the consistency of the product they use. It's a real artisanal type bread. We use about five different varieties from a raisin bread to a semolina roll. We also use a grain bread that they do. And the quality has always been even keeled the whole way through every day daily. We take usually two deliveries a day. We go through a lot of, a lot of bread here. It's a high volume place. The quality and consistency is, has always been there. This is where we divide the dough, get it ready for pre-shaping before we put a final shape to this. This dough has approximately three hours of fermentation. Myself or whomever, one of our guys will come onto the table. We'll cut, divide the dough in the precise shape, put it on the boards, and get it ready for a final shape. This is a one pound, four ounce cut that we're working off of. So we do this continually through different parts of the day with different doughs. This is a form of true artisan bread at this point. This is the Galamata olive and rosemary bread. This bread here is a dorm wheat bread with Greek Galamata olives and fresh rosemary. One of the most important things with bread is having it. Of course, the quality of the bread is important, but if the quality is great, but they can't deliver it to us, it doesn't do us much good. So Hudson always comes through. The bread's always there on time. Our breads are there before the guests arrive for breakfast and through lunch and dinner. At Hudson, there's always someone to call and ask. I have the phone number of my salesperson. If he has to go and pick it up himself and bring it to me, they do so. And he's great. They deliver to us three times a day. 
the variety of breads that they offer is, is very diverse. We get everything from our loaves of bread to make toast for the guests having breakfast, rolls for dinner, baguettes, all kinds of bread we get from them. And I cannot recall uh, one time when they missed a delivery. Here's what we have, our process of handmade pockets. This is another form of artisan breads that we do here. They're specialty roll that has been designed for the market in New York. They're olive pockets. We also do them in onion. We do them in black Russian, which is pumpernickel and fresh onions. Here, we'll spend anywhere between four, five hours a day hand rolling all of these products. This is one of Mariusz's products that he developed some 12 years ago. It was a product niche that he started for certain restaurants and steakhouses. And as anything else, it was a product that was developed and expanded because of the want of its specialty. So this is a very specialized product. Everything is handmade. Our lavash, our crisps, our breadsticks, all hand sheeted out by our six women every single day, six days a week. We've been using Hudson Bread at Tavern on the Green for a little over five years now. When we first started doing business with them, we had three different bread companies supplying us with our dinner rolls and our various breads for banquets and certain a la carte dishes. Since then, we've pretty much narrowed it down to just Hudson Bread. We find their product to be outstanding. Their service is impeccable. They're very good working with us on custom design breads. If we have a special need for a certain event or a holiday, uh, they're very amenable to helping us out with custom designs. It's been a really good experience working with them over these last several years. Now we reach the final point. This is the stage in the production where the dough reaches inside of an environmentally controlled area in which we allow the dough to mature. This process takes anywhere between 12 to 18 hours. The whole system behind us has three separate individual CPUs that control each of the boxes. So it's a program that we have developed along with Mevi to actually get the curve on the product to get the desired result of our bread in the proofing state. When dough meets water, starches convert into glucose, glucose feeds the yeast, the yeast activity produces carbon dioxide and alcohol, which are flavoring and denaturing agents. Enzymes created within the doughs, amylytic and protease, destructure the, the gluten forms, and that's what helps to develop and mature a dough. That's why the time that we put into this is really not the time of the working aspect, but it's the time of its sitting, resting, and developing. One of the more interesting aspects of the story is the fact that this is Mariusz's dad. This, it all started because his dad ran bakeries in Poland for years. This is where Mariusz learned the business. What's it like for your dad to be here now, helping you out occasionally, as he likes to do? That's actually in his blood. This man is going to be a 50 years when he's in the, in the business. He starts when he was 14 and he continued. When I need him, he comes here for a couple of months to help me to redevelop some recipe, to work on the specific product. Otherwise, uh, he's retired, but he cannot stop working. This is the end of the line. This is when we take everything, all the effort and the time and energy into making this bread, and we bring it into the oven. They call on the master control system the time to relieve oven one, deck one. So it's, it's all programmed into the baking cycle. This is the beginning of the process now for it to be cooled, sliced, packed, and then loaded onto the trucks for delivery. So do a favor for me. Define what the term artisan really means. What is artisan bread? When the baker would mix his dough, proof it, shape it, all by hand and load it oven by hand. This is the, the true definition of artisan bread. This is no additional chemicals, no dough enhancers, no dough oxidizers. It was the raw format, almost if you went home into your house and your grandmother was making a loaf of bread. This is the true origin of artisan bread. The real bottom line key is, Ray, when it comes to artisan bread, can you taste the difference? Of course you can taste the difference. Take a loaf of bread that we make, cut it open, look at this bread, smell this bread, feel the crust, the interior, the crumb, the way the bread eats, it's truly an artisan product. One of the keys to your success, I understand, is the fact that your product is always so fresh. How do you maintain that? What are your shipment schedules like? How does that work? 21 Club gets delivery for lunch. The product is baked around 9 o'clock. When the chef puts the, those rolls on the table, they're about 2 hours old. For dinner serving, they're getting product which is baked between 1 and 3 o'clock. And delivery are made around 4 o'clock. So we have 
product which is again about one or two hours old. With this business, I want to create a name which is recognizable everywhere by every chef in Manhattan and every chef in Tri-State area. It's not about baking bread and supplying restaurants or hotels with the bread. It's about being number one. It's about being the best. With its amazingly broad range of breads and rolls, the Hudson Bread Company prides itself on its commitment to utilizing the latest technologies to improve the quantity and variety of its product, and that, they say, will never change. I'm Doug Llewellyn, reporting from North Bergen, New Jersey. Well, that does it for this edition of Close Up on America's Business. I'm Janice Marie. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.